Hey there everybody, how's it going? I'm Mora and welcome to part 6 of my walkthrough for the Prisoner of Azkaban. This video is going to be really short. It'll consist of the Quidditch match, as you see here, and luckily I don't have to do anything playing it like the first two games, and I'm glad it's just a little mini-movie. But then the next part, small part of the walkthrough, will be Harry learning anti-dementor lessons from Remus. So it'll be short video, but I figured it's a good time to do it. Uh oh, the Dementors. Dementors. Okay, so that's fast. Now we'll go on to the anti Dementor lesson. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-dementor lessons. He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We better get on with your anti-dementor lessons, Harry. Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with the Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand to the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build a spell's power. You'll see a ring of light. Move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is expected. Ecto Patronum. Right. All right, so uh, I'm going to take the lesson now. <clears throat> there are no secrets to find in the while playing this. I will get one card after successfully casting the spell on Bogarts in the form of Dementors, but watch here as you practice it. Wait till the ring near appears near the tip of the wand to make a perfect cast. Yeah, it has to go near the tip of the wand to be a to for you to make a perfect cast of the spell. But you can't wait until wait too long because otherwise it might disappear. Right. That's it, Harry. Just one more time. So you can't cast a good spell if it goes around if it's on his arm. You have to have it near the tip of the wand. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronus charm on a bucket. Okay. <clears throat> so there is a little exploring I can do and find some sweets and goodies. But there are no secret areas while doing taking this lesson. And we'll get one card as a reward for successfully casting the spell against the bog arts in a bit. Yeah, make sure... Ooh, some cauldron cakes. Make sure to cast uh, Depulso whenever you find... See if you can, or at least see if you can do it when you come across skulls in this game. No matter where they are. Depulso! <laughs> oh, goody, some pumpkin pasties. Oh, I'm almost at 100. Okay. Most of these banners with the Cer with the Cerberus image, uh, have you can cast Alahamora on them, but not in all cases. All right. Also. I don't know why they have Depulso in this game. We never learned it in any of the previous two... PC games during spell spell lessons. Was it something in another versions of the two games like PlayStation or Game Boy Advance? Could someone tell me? I, I just, I haven't comprehended it. And the symbol for Depulso in this game is what Rick DeSemper is in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, is that where I came in? Okay, I gotta go further down. Don't 
Oh, yep, oh. cast a pulso on skulls to see if you can get candy. Whoa, I can't believe it, I'm almost at 100. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, now go down, save the game. Because now Remus is gonna throw Harry for a loop. <laughs> Lupin throws us for a loop, you could say, with Bogarts in the form of Dementors. Just cast, do as I did before. Here we go. Or in this case, Boggart. The creature's presence will likely keep it. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. All right. Yes, do it before the spell wears off. Don't wait too long to cast the spell then at other Dementors after casting it at one before it. All right, we did it. Yep, oh, and there's a card too. Let's go get it. Oh, but if you think that's the tail end of this lesson, you're wrong. Now, Remus is going to throw us for another loop. Just do as I did before. Right, that's three of them. Okay, that wasn't a good one. Alright, I guess I waited too long there. Alright, now I've mastered the spell. Okay, so this short video is brings an end to part six of the, my walkthrough, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll see you in the next part. Bye.